Hey guys, Blazin here. Before this video begins, there's something I have to mention regarding the needle rifle. For those that played Halo Reach back in the day, know that there are four different ways to play this game. There's default, which is how the game settings were at launch, a title update setting, which decreased bloom and added bleed through, MLG, which features no bloom, and anniversary, which mimics Halo CE settings. It's important to mention this because obviously these different settings have an impact on weapon balance. But more importantly, the reason why I'm mentioning it now is because the needle rifle, by default, is supposed to be 7 shots to kill to the head. However, the title update and MLG settings make the needle rifle a 6 shot kill to the head, and basically no bloom. If you want to know all the different settings between how to play Halo Reach, I'll leave a link down in the description from an old Halo content creator who I used to watch and isn't around anymore. With that being said, enjoy the analysis. Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T31NR. The T31NR, which stands for Type 31 Needle Rifle, is an infantry weapon variant of the T33 GML manufactured by Sacred Promisery. The numbered designation, T31, is simply a numerical designator that aligns with the year this particular permutation of the needle rifle was first encountered by the United Nations Space Command, the year 2531, hence the Type 31 designator. The T31NR fires unconventional long and razor sharp projectiles made of blamite. The projectiles detonate after a few shots come to rest in soft tissue. Unlike the T33 GML, the needles do not track on the enemy. They instead fire in a straight line at a high velocity, like the UNSC's M392. Rounds travel much faster than that of the T33 GML leaving the T31NR's only destructive similarity to the T33GML being the needle explosion. The trademarks on the gun are very subtle. Three red arrows pointing up, indicating that the scope can lift up, and a red covenant symbol as well. In the middle of the gun has a forerunner glyph, along with two white arrows at the bottom right corner, Moving below the weapon is another red covenant symbol. Moving back up where the needles stick out are a couple of, I assume are red covenant symbols, located at the bottom of the needles, as well as a couple more in front of the scope. Finally, near the front of the barrel, if I could call it that, is a white covenant symbol with three white arrows pointing down. The T31NR features a scope that acts as a hatch which flips open to expose a small canister that ejects upon opening, and a new canister is inserted by the user. This reload process implements another difference between the T33GML, which summons new needles from inside of the weapon through the operation of what is suspected to be an internal mechanism. Killing spree. Moving on to the scope itself, it's very alien. I assume the middle optic is the main standard magnification, and the other two on the sides are unknown to me. Is a scope designed for aliens with three eyes? Because it, mo most, a most aliens don't have three eyes. Another speculation I might have is maybe the other optics on the sides could be different vision modes. Like what we have in real life, one optic could feature thermal vision, while the other optic could feature night vision. Again, this is just purely speculation on my end. The T31NR holds 21 rounds in the tubular magazine, plus a total of 84 extra spare rounds. The rate of fire I got was around 195 rounds per minute. The 
reload speed I got was about 2.11 seconds. Max effective range is 38.22 meters from the hip. Max effective range when using the scope is 76.29 meters. The damage output is 6 shots to break shields and 3 shots to health, totaling a 9 shot kill. Or 6 shots to break shields and 1 shot to the head for a kill, totaling a 7 shot kill. Body shot TTK was around 2.45 seconds. Headshot TTK was about 1.84 seconds. Untouchable. Lastly, since the gun can't supercombine to the body when a player has no shields, the max blast radius I got was around 4.8 meters. Killing frenzy. And that's the needle rifle. Overall, it's a fun weapon to use, and super combining someone is always satisfying. This gun is slightly weaker compared to the DMR, however, this is more of a laser accurate than the DMR. Almost to the point where I think it should have 5% more blue, but either way, this gun is fine for the most part. I would also like to take this moment to thank you guys for watching these Halo Reach weapon analysis so far. I really enjoy making these, and there's still more weapons to analyze, so more to come. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you want to stick around, and until next time, Peace.